the grid bank layout um the grid bank layout positions quick components in a two-dimensional grid and is one of the layout manager supported by java the layout manager uh, affords the programmers to control over the positioning and layout of graphical user interface components within a JFrame and other such containers. So I'm going to show you one example in which uh, the use of grid bag layout position to for GUI components for a program that will display the hourly wage and associated yearly salary. Let's start with our program. Let me run it and first let's see our application. The top frame name is salary in which there are four components hourly wage, 20, one text field, yearly salary and 40,000 as one text, uh, text field. So four fields have been displayed in, a, in the form of a grid. So how is it possible to place everything in a grid? Okay. So we need to import one grid bag layout and grid bag constraints. So layout will position the uh, graphical user interface components in a two dimensional grid format. Then we are supposed to use the J frame, J label and J text field for adding the frame label and text fields into our window. Then inserts for placing all the components inside the frame in a proper um, padding okay so these are the components or arguments that we need to create for each of the classes now we need to create the two labels hourly wage and yearly salary wage label cell level are um, two ob objects created for that set, set the salary and yearly salary and hourly salary then for creation of the text fields we need um, these three statements here for creation of the wage field now for creation of the next salary text field we need next three statements here so for creation of the new text field you need the first statement now you don't want to edit the field so set edited editable function to be called now for what text you want to display here for that you need the set text function to be called now let's create the top frame which is set to be salary for creation of top frame now to create this grid format we need to call the set layout function which will assign a layout manager to the j frame component the top frame before adding the components and specifying their layouts now to properly include the grid location and padding around the components or graphical user interface components we need to invoke the grid back constraints method for creation of layout constant um, object so and again for this we need to import the grid back constraints import statement now let's form the grid now to place all the components um, inside a grid we need the grid will be like this the first component is at 0 0 location so here we will place the components column and row wise so first component hourly age should be in 0 0 then 20 um, the text field for hourly wage will be in the location 1 0 and uh, the yearly salary will be in the grid 0 1 and 40,000 will be in the grid 1 1 so now let's see the hourly wage for for that to specify the components grid location you need these statements so first you need to specify which row and which column grid positions now to set the padding we need to um, invoke this instruction over here through the insets 
and uh, now the wage level this level hourly wage should be added to the top frame and also to the grid layout so for that you need to call the add function now in the same way you need to add the wage field the salary label this one yearly salary and the salary text field as well so all of them will be added and then you need to just call the set default close operation back for resizing the window to fit everything all together and then set visible true so that you will have in this one in this format so your homework should be try to create one employee name label over here and display your own num own name in a name text field try to do it yourself and this is all about grid back layout